Hello, hello, hello. So I am going to show you how to make an awesome Bitmoji t-shirt. Okay, so to show you how to make a um, Bitmoji shirt, I am going to walk you through some of the steps that um, you would take or that I took to um, get this process done. And one of the first things that I done is, um, and this shirt is made, this is the Bitmoji Craze team, which is an awesome Facebook group, um, which is Bit Bitmoji Craze for Educators, which I am a part of. And um, this is the admin and the moderators that are over that group in fa on Facebook. So um, the first thing that I did obviously was I had each person send me one of their um, bitmojis that we used or that was going to be used for what we were wanting to use it for and i uploaded each one of the um, bitmojis into my computer i use in this case i use um, remove.bg to remove the background or you can if you have a macbook um, you can use a another way to remove the background and I have a video that will show you how to do that and um, when I move on into some further steps I will show you how to do that as well so once all the um, bitmojis are uploaded I then pull them into Google Slides where I created everything um, from each person I, I positioned them um, I added this this box and then I added the text for the, the name, which is Bitmoji Craze Team. And then after you do all that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to File. And you're going to download your picture or you're going to want to download your picture. And you can download it as a JPEG or download it as PNG, whichever one of those images would be just fine. So in this case, I'm just going to download it as a PNG. <clears throat> then I'm going to click on it and open it. And I'm going to save it, and I, I think it's cutting off the screen just a little bit, but I'm going to save it as Bitmoji T-shirt. And then I'm going to save it to my Bitmoji Pictures, which is on my desktop. And then from there, I will show you the next steps that I will take to um, finish making the shirt. So to show you really fast, um, the way that I was talking about, if you have a MacBook that you can remove the background on your, oh, well, on my particular, this particular image, if you are designing your t-shirt, is um, I would go out of this, go to my Bitmoji pictures, find where I saved Bitmoji t-shirts, pull it up. I will go here to this little, I always say suitcase, go over to my wand. Then I'm gonna click and drag everywhere that I want to be gone and then hit delete. And go there, hit delete. And right in here where her shirt is and hit delete I think it got there hit delete so just all those little missing spots and hit delete I think the rest of it was um, delete it And everything but the box really simple okay and then so once I've done that I can just X out of it because the change the, the change is automatically saved okay so now we are in um, a program of what I call the Cricut space 
the Cricut Design Space. And that is a program that I use to make um, not only my this Bitmoji shirt, but that I use to make all of my other shirts and any other kind of designs that I make as well. And the Cricut Design Space program goes with the Cricut machine, which is a Cricut Air 2, which is what I have. That would be what you would use to um, make the, the shirts or any other design. So let's get started with finishing up the shirt. So you're going to go to your, the first thing I'm going to do is up, go to my upload. And then from there, I'm going to upload my image. I'm going to click browse. And then Bitmoji pictures is, um, is where I would go. And then I'm going to find where I saved my Bitmoji t-shirt. Click open, it pulls it in. I would click compact, complex, click continue, and then here is where I am going to remove the background of the picture. And I would simply click on it, use the little wand, click on it, and then I would click continue. And then click save okay so we're here and from here I am going to click on the picture and then I'm going to click insert And the picture pops into my design space where I will finish um, sizing it and all that. So for this, you have to have it a certain size um, before it'll actually print or it won't print like you see this little triangle here. And it'll tell you what the size is supposed to be. It can't be any bigger than 6.75 by 9.25. So I would size that. And you have to play around with it a little bit. 6.75 or so. 7.48 is good. And 9.25. So I need to shrink it just a little bit. And that's as big as it can be. Once I get it sized, if you um, have another design or whatever, you want to add whatever other text or whatever else you want to you are welcome to do that you just go over here like this text box you can type and it'll pop in there in this case I don't want to do that um, just whatever however you want to do it and then when I'm done here I would go to make it and in this at this case this is where it'll it'll send to my printer And you have a few little different options over here, how many copies you want. Um, if you want to mirror it, you would not mirror it if you're going to put it on a dark color shirt using the dark um, color printable paper that you would use for dark material. You, um, you would flip it if you were going to use a light color shirt and you were going to buy, you have the printable paper for light colored t-shirts. So in this case, I'm using a dark color shirt, so I'm not going to mirror it. I would then click continue. Connect machine. I would select the machine that I'm going to use, which is my Air 2. And then I would send it to the printer. And then from there, I would wait for, I would hit print. I would select my printer. And I would click print.
And that is how you design a Bitmoji t-shirt.